The Texas Bill of Rights states crime victims have the right to be informed of all proceedings involving their case. Well, the night Dallas County's District Attorney Craig Watkins is accused of violating that law by dismissing two criminal cases without informing the victims. Brett Chip joins us now with details. Brett? John, the Texas Bill of Rights is clear. A crime victim has the right to notification of court proceedings, the right to confer with the prosecutor, and the right to be present at all court proceedings. But a Dallas man says his rights were violated by the Dallas County DA's office just a few days ago when a family violence case was dismissed without his knowledge or his involvement. Tonight, News 8 investigates. The call came in to 911 on May 15th of last year. Lulu Schwartz, the mother of an 11 year old child, was accused of threatening her son and her husband with a rifle following an argument about her son missing his bedtime. Okay, now does she have the gun pointed at your dad? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes, this is Dallas 911. Where's your wife at right now? She's in the den right now. I've gotten the gun away from her. I've, got, I've gotten it away from her. Robert Schwartz, the boy's father, says his wife assaulted him as he wrestled the gun away. Had that gun been loaded, I'm pretty sure I would be dead now. Police arrived and arrested Lulu Schwartz. She was later charged and indicted on two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Schwartz says he had every reason to believe the case was headed to trial until this past September 15th, when the DA's office filed a motion to dismiss the assault case involving his son. The reason stated on the dismissal form, in order to eliminate the overcrowded condition of the honorable court's docket and to best serve the interests of the citizens of Dallas County. District Attorney Craig Watkins' name was signed by the DA's family violence chief, Tammy Kemp. Schwartz says no one from the DA's office notified him the case was being dismissed. I can't come up with a reasonable explanation as to why the prosecutor's office in this city, in this county, would fail to prosecute an act of family violence with a rifle on an 11 year old boy. How do you not let that go to trial? Schwartz says his repeated attempts to get answers were ignored. And then last week, another blow. Schwartz learned the other case, the assault case involving him, was also mysteriously dismissed. Again, District Attorney Craig Watkins' name was signed by Tammy Kemp, but this time Kemp wrote the words with prejudice into the dismissal, meaning the newly elected District Attorney Susan Hawk cannot refile the charges when she takes over office in January. The only reason given for the second dismissal in the interests of justice. In neither case was the victim notified by the district attorney's office, despite the Texas Bill of Rights, which guarantees the right to notification of all court proceedings. If this was truly in the interest of justice, someone could have picked up the phone and called me and said, look, this is why we're not doing this. This is why we think it's a bad idea to prosecute this. This is why we're not going forward. None of that has happened. And this is textbook prosecutorial misconduct. Former Dallas County Assistant Prosecutor and friend of Schwartz, George Milner, says the dismissal of these family violence cases itself begs an investigation. I have discussed this case with several other attorneys. They cannot come up with a single explanation for it. There is no legitimate explanation for what has happened here. Meg Garvin with the National Crime Victim Law Institute says Texas law in this case appears to not have been followed. If a decision is being made not to proceed, a victim should know about that before the final decision is made so that they can have some input. And they certainly need to be notified immediately when the final decision is made. And that's by law um, in most jurisdictions, including Texas. Lulu Schwartz's attorney, Brady Wyatt, says the case was dropped because the district attorney recognizes the case against his client was weak. Quote, the case was reviewed by the Dallas County District Attorney's Office at the highest levels 
and the office saw fit to dismiss the preposterous charges. We believe that these charges, if brought to trial, would have resulted in acquittals in both cases. At this moment, District Attorney Craig Watkins has still not advised Schwartz about the dismissal of the case. In fact, the only comment made was to News 8, and it was this. Assistant DA Tammy Kemp is the administrative chief over the Family Violence Division, and she has the discretion to dismiss the cases in the interest of justice. And she says she cannot legally talk to WFAA about the reasons. Brett Shipp, Channel 8 News.